All right. Um, as you saw, we uh, picked Xavier Worthy from Texas, wide receiver. Um, we're glad to add him on, on board. We uh, think he's a heck of a football player, number one. He does a few different things. He's a good wide receiver and also a good special teams returner. And he'll end up doing both uh, to start things off with. So, um, and he'll just work into that, that rotation when we, we get him, the wide receiver rotation and uh, with Hollywood and Rashi and, and Kels and, you know, the other fellows. So um, it should give Pat another, another weapon there in which to use. Okay. All right. With that, time's yours. Just uh, with the trade up, just uh, can you kind of walk us through how that happened? Yeah. So, um, we, we, you know, we we had marked this kid that you know Xavier that we we wanted him, and we just felt that you start getting down there, uh, somebody might jump us, you know, and pick him up. So, um, and. You know, Brett does a great job with this. He he uh, he's got a good feel for the people that have interest in that position and that player, and and then uh, where he needs to go uh, to attack it. And he obviously knows the combine time, but besides his speed, what else about his traits really stood out to you? Yeah, good route runner, and um, you know he's not a big he's not a big kid, um, or at least weight wise. He's got good height. He's just not, not very heavy. Um, but I think you'll see this toughness that he's got, which uh, jumped out at me. And uh, you know, and then when you talk to their coach, uh, Coach Sarkeesian and I are close, and and um, he kept talking about how smart he was. Um, he got great football instincts, um, and he's a tremendous worker. So, and in this offense, you've got to you've got to be able to do that um, and, and have those characteristics. So, Coach, when you see the, the forty time, not to think of Tyree, not to say that he's going to be compared to one of the best players, but what does having that type of speed back in your offense do for for what twenty twenty four can bring? Yeah. So, well, I mean, listen, they're different, um, and he'll put his own mark on things. Um, you know, once he gets a feel for it. Um, I, that's not that wasn't necessarily the comparison as much as it was um, him being a good football player that was a good wide receiver. I mean, you know, now you add in there the return ability. Um, I, I've had some guys like that, Tyreek and Deshaun Jackson, probably body type a little bit more like Deshaun. Yeah. Coach, how critical was it that you added to the wide receiver core this offseason? Yeah, I, listen, I like the wide receivers we, we've got, um, but to add somebody of this quality, I think, is a, important um, uh, or a good move, you know, to strengthen it. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't want to slight the guys that we have either, but uh, he's, a, he's a nice addition. I mean, he was, uh, you guys know, I mean, you've read everything, so you know that uh, people thought he was a, a quality player for us to be able to get him down there with a, you know, with, with the trade, I thought that was w well worth it. Yeah. Is the weight he's at not a concern for you guys? Can you can you put on weight? I know some people can't keep weight on. That's probably not most of his routine. Yeah. Someone could, can you get a little bit bigger? Yeah. Um, you're asking the wrong guy um, <laughs> about weight, but uh, I, I think he's uh, I think he's fine where he's at. I don't I don't think that's a problem. He's playing at a high level, and he's been doing this since he was a freshman. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about the weight. You mentioned talking to Steve Sarkeesian about him, but just what else did you learn about him throughout your conversations with him over the years? Yeah, so um, we've also talked to the kid. So yeah, and um, I I just like I like his makeup. I like the the fact that he can go all day. And that he loves football. You guys kind of know how we're wired here. Brett makes that a real, 
um, characteristic that he likes. Likewise, as coaches, we love that. And so um, you, you find that out about a guy, and you can tell he's passionate about the sport. He, I, I think you'll see this when you when you meet him. Um, and he loves to play, you know, and he's good at it. Coach, I know it's uh, ultimately your, your decision and Brett's decision as well. Uh, when you think about adding another weapon, you know, offensively, do you run it by Patrick? Uh, yeah, no, we like we, we told Patrick. Yeah, okay. yeah. He Patrick's curious. He he like he loves this, you know. He loves this stuff. It doesn't matter if it's offense or defense. I mean, he's he just lo he loves the draft. So, um, yeah, we, he's texting away at us, and we get back to him. And yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's great with it. Coach, that was kind of my question was. Um, Patrick at least posted on social media that he seemed to be approving of the pick. What was yeah. his kind of feedback in the process? And everything? Yeah, you know, we have these iPads, and so you've got all the, you've got everything on it. I mean, you can get, you can get video of these, of, of the kids that are in the draft playing. So he's looked at everybody. I mean, he goes, when he gets bored, he looks at, looks at all the guys. So, um, you know, he's, see, he's seen them play. And, uh, and so if he, t I didn't see that he posted that out there, but um, I know he's probably pretty excited about it. Yeah, I don't think they have connected yet. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, go ahead. Swapping with Buffalo, y'all have had some contentious matchups. You're in the conference, matching up against them, the home straight. Is there? Is it harder to move up now that you're back-to-back -back champs teams? Harder to work with? Yeah, well, it was last year. I mean, you know, we we were trying to move around a little bit last year, and it was just tough to, you know, uh, people didn't really want to do a whole lot. And um, in Buffalo, they have, they have a plan. You know, they're they're pretty smart guys up there, and um, so they they've got their their own plan, and they're willing to do something, which I appreciate. Yeah. Well, the last three with Todd, PJ, and then Nate. Go ahead, Todd. Coach, just not about the draft tonight, but your contract to stay here longer. Uh, just your thoughts on, on getting that done and yeah. answering questions about what's happening. Like yeah, that. sure. No, listen, I mean, I'm grateful to um, to the Hunts and and Clark for um, wanting uh, you know, myself here, Mark and and Brett. So, um, you know, I, I, I would start with that. Um, my wife and I love it here. Family likes it here, so, um, and you know it's important that that's done, and now we're moving on and getting getting everything rolling here. So this is a good start right now. PJ, um, with the with your wide receiver core, you you kind of done a really good job of having that elite speed. We have Tyreek and also pairing him with Nicole and you know Marcus. Once uh, once Tyreek left, you know kind of that that top tier speed kind of left. Is this kind of a you're trying to bring it back with now, Hollywood Brown. Yeah, so, yeah, both those two can run well. And um, I think both love to play the game and are good football players. So uh, I think that that will help us. Um, it doesn't hurt to have down the field speed. I mean, it's not, we, we've been, we've functioned without the great speed down the field um, and done well. So, um, but, if you have an opportunity to get somebody that you think is a good player, just not a speed guy, but a good football player, I think you, you know, you probably need to take advantage of that. So. Nate, some quotes out. You, you mentioned uh, where this toughness. Just how much is that sort of a requirement for a guy who's that fast, and how much do you think that can help you all, not only in the short yardage game, but obviously trying to win contested passes downfield. Yeah. Um, it, well, yeah, it's important that you have that in the National Football League, and and then w with with his size, you, you you know that you can go a couple of different ways with that, right? So he he plays a tough game, but I think he's smart with it too. You know, you don't want him running into a wall and hurting himself. So, uh, but at the same time, there's a time when you got to be able to go get it, and. Uh, He's done that at that level. He's got to do it at this level now. This will be a, another challenge for him. But he's shown that he could do it at, at Texas. Sir. Okay, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, good. Yep, thanks, guys.
Yeah, the bill's today.